Sure, I can be an asshole sometimes, but that's just me, it's who I am. I mean, I could be nice, but I don't really see the point. Take Dan and Eve. They're happy now, sure, but look how long that took to even happen. I mean, why be in a relationship anyway? It just seems like a lot of work towards failure. Well, Dan and Eve seem to be doing pretty good. Could be a hole in your theory there. Mark my words. First time they have a fight, Dan's gonna fold like a lawn chair. Or say something stupid to mess it all up. Uh, am I to understand you're going to hold the Anderson wedding here? The who? The Andersons, Sherry and Paul. Oh, gosh darn it. Am, am I in the wrong bar? This is Eddie's, isn't it? No, you're in the right place. What can I do for you, Father? Minister, actually. Huh? Not a priest. That's the Catholics. I'm not a father. Only I am a father. Two boys and a girl. You see, Catholics can be fathers, but not fathers. You see? <laughs> it's because ministers are allowed to marry. Whatever. Did you want something? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, Sherry left me this note. It said, urgent, meet at Eddie's, wedding business, mind the mole people. That last bit is a little strange. Oh no, it makes perfect sense. What does it mean? You gonna order a drink or not? Oh, no, I don't drink. Well then I can't help you. What an odd person. Yes? What? Oh, nothing. I thought you were talking to me. Oh, and who might you be? Oh, nobody. I've got this whole minister thing worked out. All I have to do is get rid of the competition. The poor bastard won't ever see it coming. So, ministering, huh? That must be pretty satisfying. Oh, it is. Uh, helping to bring people into his presence, tending the flock. Uh, I think it must be the most satisfying work that one can do. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sure it is. So, if something unfortunate would happen, you'd need a replacement to guide people down the right path, right? Hmm. Well, you know, I never really thought of it much, but, you know, I think I would. That <laughs> makes it easier. Hey, look over there, sinners. You know, young man, I think that you may be in need of some serious professional help. Like I haven't heard that before. Well, I suppose I should go find Sherry. Thank you. May God have mercy on you. Oh, praise to Saint Mongoose. Hmm. I'm keeping this. Are you feeling better about this whole thing? I certainly feel a drunker. Look, I'm really worried about you. You've been acting kind of strange over this whole Sherry deal. It, it's not that big a deal. Not that big a deal? First, Sherry, my best friend, goes behind my back with my boyfriend, and then she lies to me about it, 
And then she tries to hook me up with the most desperate bastard in the bar. Hey! And then she goes out and she gets her Prince Charming and she gets her storybook ending. You don't know that. You can't possibly know that. And, and even if that's true, so what? She's happy. This isn't a competition. Yes, it is. Don't you get that? That's what society standard is. Get married, have babies, be happy, and do it before you're fucking 30. Otherwise, what the hell is wrong with you? I don't think that's fair. Damn right it's not fair. And you know what? It's your fault. My fault? You, the collective you. Men get to go out, party, sleep around, and, and if they do it till they're 40, who gives a shit? Their praise is the almighty conquerors for it. If I do it, I'm a slut. When Sherry does it, she gets a guy. I mean, what the fuck? It's not like that. I certainly don't feel that way. If a man goes out and parties till he's 40, I, I don't think he's a hero. I think he's a sad man-child. Tell that to your best friend Jackson, Don Juan de Perv. It's Jackson. He's not, it's not even about him. Of course you take a side, you ass. I'm not taking anybody's side. I just, I just think you're overreacting. Oh, overreacting. You know what? You're right. I am overreacting. Thank you for helping me see so clearly. You know what, Master fucking Yoda? I think I've learned all I can from you. Eve, wait! Fuck you! What the hell just happened? Sorry for busting out on you too early. Mm. So here's your service. Here's three shots that I got for you guys. We could all take it together, you know, bury the axe a little bit. If I take this shot, will you go the fuck away? I did it again, didn't I? Mm -hmm. 